Bill Gates, the man, the myth, the legend. A household name I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with. Gates is now the third richest person in the world. For a long time, he held the second position, but was recently overpassed by Elon Musk. Nevertheless, Gates is still insanely wealthy. If you weren't aware already, Bill Gates is the co-founder and CEO of Microsoft and has since become a part of the 100 billion club alongside Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. As you can imagine, Gates has an astounding net worth, which means he lives quite a lavish life lifestyle and likes to spend his money. In today's video, we are going to cover Bill Gates' net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. Background William Henry Gates was born on October 28th in 1955 in Seattle, Washington. He was born and raised here, growing up in a quite well-off family. When he was just 13 years old, he was enrolled in the private Lakeside Prep School, where he happened to write his very own first software program. He took great interest in computer programming during his school years and only continued to excel within this area, even being excused from math class to pursue his passion in computer programming. Obviously, the teachers at his school saw great potential in Gates, even from a very early age. Not too long after this, four students, including Gates, formed a small club called the Lakeside Programmers. To make a little money, they offered to find bugs in CCC software in exchange for computer time. Gates would go to Triple C's offices and study the source codes endlessly until he knew how to solve any problem that may arise. At the age of 17, Gates formed his first venture alongside fellow co-founder of Microsoft, Paul Allen, called Trafodata to make traffic counters based on the Intel 800A processor. All these computer programming activities during his high school years only grew once he graduated. Once graduating high school, Gates attended Harvard University, arguably one of the most elite and prestigious universities in the world. He began studying a pre-law major However, he quickly changed to mathematics and graduate-level computer science courses. Although Gates was extremely smart, he dropped out of college after just two years. His parents were supportive of his decision, especially after seeing how passionate he was about starting his own company. When asked about his decision to leave, he said, If things hadn't worked out, I could always go back to school. I was officially on leave. In 1975, Gates and longtime friend Paul Allen read the January edition of Popular Electronics, which demonstrated the Altar 880. After reading this, he contacted contacted Micro Instrumentation and Telemetry Systems, MITS, but they hadn't actually started working on it. They were simply gauging how interested MIT were for this project. After finding out the high level of interest, they produced an Altar emulator that ran on a mini computer and then the basic interpreter. It quickly became a success and MITS quickly became distributing it and hired both Gates and Allen. Allen named their partnership Microsoft, a clever combination of microcomputer and software. Their first office was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and they officially hired their first employee, their high school friend, Rick Weiland. Within a year, they dropped the hyphen in their name and changed it to Microsoft, what we all know and love today. In 1980, IBM approached Microsoft about software for their upcoming personal computer, the IBM PC. At that time, IBM was the leading supplier of computer equipment to commercial enterprises. This gained them public recognition. However, they weren't earning a fortune at this point. In 1985, Microsoft officially launched their first retail version of Microsoft Windows. This saw great success and wealth for both Allen and Gates and Microsoft. Microsoft Windows is known globally and has become a staple for many businesses and for personal computers as well. This definitely launched Microsoft into the public eye. Gates had primary responsibility for Microsoft's product strategy from 1975 until 2006. Although he was incredibly intelligent, he quickly gained reputation of being distant from others, rarely answering or returning phone calls, becoming quite hard to reach, he was quite verbally competitive, according to Microsoft senior managers, and would often berate them for perceived holes in their business strategies that put the company's long-term interests at risk. He was very blunt and would interrupt presentations to comment how stupid something or an idea was. Although Gates wasn't the best leadership role model, he is extremely talented, intelligent, and innovative, introducing something that changed modern mankind for the better. Net worth. The most interesting part of the video. What is Bill Gates worth? Well, Bill Gates is said to have an estimated net worth of around $1. $130 billion. Gates actually became the world's youngest self-made billionaire ever in history at the early age of 31. However, he was dethroned in 2008 by the infamous Mark Zuckerberg, grabbing his title at the age of 23. He has since donated a huge portion of his fortune. An estimated $35.8 billion US dollars of his stock has been given away to charities and organizations that need it. He only owns around 1% of the Microsoft stock at this point in time. However, this 1% is said to still be worth around $7.3 billion US dollars 
dollars. So even though he is no longer the richest man in the world, he is still making some good money during his retirement. Lifestyle Gates is no doubt one of the most generous billionaires we have ever seen. Gates also spends some of his fortune on lavish items and purchases. This includes his Washington estate where he decided he wanted to build his dream home and after 7 years the property was finally finished and ready to live in. To build his dream home it took 63 million but covers an entire 66 square feet on the waterfront estate in the Seattle suburb of Medina. Not only is this home amazing on the outside but it's also just as awesome on the inside. The home is equipped with many high tech amenities including a sensor system that regulates lighting and temperature, an underwater music system in the swimming pool and a computer screen displayed piece of artwork that can be changed at any time with the click of a button. Apparently, the mansion also holds six kitchens and 24 bathrooms. Yep, you heard that right, 24. Bill also purchased a 228-acre ranch for $18 million in October 2014. This property is incredible, including a three-quarter mile dirt racetrack, guest house, office, orchid, veterinarian suite, and five barns. And interestingly, Jenny Craig, weight loss expert, actually owned the property and sold it to Gates. We bet Gates is enjoying his retirement, spending time between these lavish mansions. But hey, he deserves it. He worked hard to get where he is today. How Gates spends his millions. So how does Gates spend his millions, or should I say billions? Well, a large portion has gone towards his property and different property investments. He also spends a significant portion funding his and his ex-wife Melinda Gates' The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This foundation is the world's largest private charitable foundation and holds more than 50 US billion in assets and has donated 40 US billion to various different global education and health initiatives. In 2010, the Gates teamed up with Warren Buffett to create the Giving Pledge. This was an initiative where those who joined committed to donating half their wealth to charity and good causes. It's always admirable seeing millionaires and billionaires give so much of their wealth up for others. Gates spends mass amounts of his money on charities and good causes, but he has also been known to splash out on some toys, including luxury vehicles. For his first ever car, Gates bought a Porsche 911. This was his first huge purchase with the money he made from Microsoft. In the 1970s, the early days, Gates was notorious for amassing speeding tickets. He would speed through the desert to help clear his mind, and he was even arrested, resulting in a famous mugshot. He has also collected many different luxury vehicles, including a Ferrari 348 and a Jaguar XJ6. Not only does he love luxury cars, but he also loves luxury aircrafts and boats. In 1997, he purchased a 21 US million dollar jet so he could travel wherever he pleased, whenever he pleased. Gates has also been spotted chartering a yacht with his family in the Mediterranean, a charter that costs 5 million US per week. For us, that is astounding, but for Bill Gates, that's just pennies from the pocket. Despite these lavish purchases, not all purchases are this extravagant. At his core, he is really quite a simple average guy. He wears a a $10 watch and doesn't believe in spending a fortune on his outfits. He loves McDonald's and Diet Coke, once even tell reporters that he drinks around 3-4 to four Cokes per day. Gates has also been vocal about wanting his children to succeed alone without depending on his riches. He has said that each child will get $10 million each. Sounds like a lot. But in fact, they'll be receiving less than 1.1 of their father's entire fortune. We assume he plans to donate the rest to charities and those organizations who need it most. And there you have it. Some interesting facts about Bill Gates and his incredible Incredible fortune. Even though Gates is no longer the CEO of Microsoft and hasn't been for some time, he still remains one of the richest men in the entire world. Third, to be exact. That doesn't sound so bad. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new uploads.